Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my terrain mesh tutorial. In this tour we're going to take a look at sculpting a plane and then texturing it all inside of Blender to create a mesh that would be useful for say the Blender game engine or any other game engine that doesn't support built-in terrain. Alright, so as you can see I have one here that I made the other day and we will be creating something a little bit similar to this. Alright, so let's create a new blend file. So control N or file new and hit X to delete our lovely cube and add a plane and scale it up three and then subdivide it until you see up here where it says FA which stands for faces until it equals 1024. All right, so now we have 1024 faces on our plane which should be plenty and we're going to set shading to smooth. Then we're going to go to sculpt mode stroke and we're going to set the stroke to airbrush so as we move our cursor over it will modify the terrain and set strength at one i'm going to up the radius and go down to tool we're going to use the draw tool and the smooth tool in this tutorial however there are plenty of other tools that could be quite useful for creating terrain all right so using the draw tool i'm just going to create a rather random looking hilly terrain All right. And now I'm going to use the smooth tool and I'm going to smoothen this all down just a little bit. All right, I uh, paused it so I could uh, quickly do that. Okay, so now as you can see, here's my kind of lovely-ish uh, terrain kind of not too bad all right now we need to go back to edit mode and we're going to split our viewport in half and open up the uv image editor and we are going to unwrap we're just going to use the default unwrap and it unwrap quite nicely now we're going to create a new texture i'm going to call this one terrain i'm going to leave the width and height at 1024 by 1024 hit ok all right now we need to enable Image painting, so go to image, image painting. Alternatively, you can also click this icon. However, I figured you didn't want to use middle mouse and go all the way over to it. All right. So now we need to go to texture paint. All right. And we need to first apply our material. And we need to go to our texture, image, terrain, and mapping to UV. All right, so now if I were to start painting, you should see it update in real time over here as well as over here. You can also paint over here if you like. However, I prefer to edit in the real-time viewport. And for later issues, I'm going to set the specular color and hardness to the diffuse. Then I'm going to set the viewport shading to textured. Actually, I'm going to go to object mode real quick, and I'm going to change this to a sunlight. All right. Now go back to our... Right-click back on our terrain. Go to texture paint. I'm going to close this a little bit. Actually, I'm just going to completely early collapse it. All right. So at the moment, we don't have a texture. So we could click new. But where exactly is this texture, and how do we edit it? Because obviously, we don't want to paint clouds. Over here, where you see show brush textures, click it. And it default, it's at clouds. So we're going to select image or movie. And we're going to open our CG texture folder, which I happen to have and you don't. But I will upload and pack all of these textures into the zip file so you guys can have them. All right, I'm going to use the grass. And you can also adjust the mapping. But we're just going to leave it at 1. And now we're just going to paint right on to it and you can adjust the strength if you like I'm gonna set it to one and I'm going to completely and utterly paint this entire thing and then I will unpause it and we will add a, a few more times okay so I have completely and utterly painted this entire terrain in our lovely grass texture doesn't look too good uh, depending on the zoom and the mapping uh, depends on the scale which it paints so a quick note that I've noticed is 
don't really zoom in and out when you're painting and just use shift and middle mouse to get around. Uh, if anyone knows an actual better way to actually control the texture, um, let me know. All right, so what if we want to create a new brush? All we have to do is click the X, new, change our type back over to image or mapping, open, just jump over to CG textures folder, or well, I guess in your case, the folder, and then just find a texture and just begin painting the new one on, just like that. Um, this is rather useful. Uh, method of uh, painting. All right, so just gonna quickly go through. And if we wanna switch, like say we made a mistake, just click the image, texture, and just apply the new one right on. And I'm just going to go rather quickly all the way up and around. Now at the moment the opacity strength is set to 100. As you noticed earlier, um, you can change it. Uh, this would be a bit more useful for say blending near the edges so they blend better. However, for the sake of this tutorial and time, I'm not going to make it not really going to go too in depth with making this look too pretty. All right. So there we have it. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. We have our nice little uh, rocky edge around our little mountain, or rather a little hilltop. We have two entranceways. So let's add a new brush the same way we did before. And I believe I may have, we we'll use sand soil. Got to focus back on it. All right. I know this can take quite some time to do, so if you're using this for, say, a game project, uh, probably going to have to have someone completely and utterly dedicated just to making your terrain, as this process here can be quite time consuming. Okay, so there we have it. We have a nice little path that kind of goes up and over. Um, sorry about the uh, high amount of specularity. I kind of added a second lamp on top of our sun. All right, so now what if we want to export this train out? Uh, obviously, you file export and you can export out in whatever format the engine supports, but what if we also want our texture out? So we just go back to our UV image editor with our terrain selected, you just do a uh, sorry image, save as image, desktop, and then we'll just save the image. All right, and there you have it. That concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, uh, please don't comment on the YouTube video if you actually have questions. Uh, please stop by the forums because eventually these YouTube videos end up getting like 200 comments and everyone's asking the same question, but I've answered it, but it's buried at the very beginning. So go on ahead and stop by the forums if you have any questions and I'll answer them there and then people can find it a little bit easier. 
as well, you can also hop on the IRC and just ask me directly. Information for both of these is in the description as well as my Twitter. And you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter if you'd like to keep up with what I'm doing and find out uh, a few minutes before an actual video is coming out. Thank you.